Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I come again with my videos. Yeah, um, I want to continue with, from where I stopped with um, the disclosure video about HIV and AIDS. My name is Monifa. I'm not a doctor and I'm not a nurse. I'm only a mentor and a lecturer. Everything I say here is based on research and experience from mentoring people living with HIV and other challenges. So if you watch my videos, you can go below it or above it and you'll find links for you to get um, more information and educate yourself. I want to talk about um, disclosure again and again because now the backbone for HIV stigma. What I mean saying that the backbone for HIV stigma. If you tell person say you get HIV, not be smart enough. You know. The stigma will carry behind this disease. It's too strong where where. So now they make a lot of people you know they won't talk about them at all. They don't even want to make me their next neighbor or their partners know based on the outcome. I don't come today for see if I feel break them down a little bit so that people feel understand and then start the dwell little by little today. See how to handle people their information. For tell person say get HIV, no be false. Because some countries they will, if you tell a person, say, you get HIV, they will penalize you. If you take their information, they talk anyhow. Some other country, they way, if you not tell a person, say, you get HIV, and you go sleep with that person, they will penalize you, see, you not talk true. So different places, different areas, they get different laws. But if we start to learn how to handle information and how we support our loved ones when they disclose to us, it will help everyone around us to live freely and happily. HIV comes with its own kind of stigma where it's strong, where where past the other illnesses or diseases the way that they are outside. The stigma behind HIV is not because. It depends on the belief of HIV from different areas. Another challenge be that, and if people not be educated on how you feel disclose a problem. Work area too, if you disclose so work area is a problem as well because the experience and negative reactions you could get them from um, the workplace or my treatment, or maybe the feel breach your confidentiality is another thing. And if you resort to dismiss her, another thing be say, your partner, if he reject you. So a complex decision for anybody to take because of the stigma we did behind it. So this whole thing all depend on how we handle them. If we not handle the information then well, you need to go down well. But if we as a well start to the learn how to the digest the information and receive these people where they be suffer from this disease, then it could be helpful. An example be say if person they suffer from, for example, an illness where they, they call and say fibromyalgia, na pain, rotten pain way you not get cure because you not get diagnosis you never you know if you know which is the cost the problem they are still researching this type of pain but they get away with the feel manager if you they take medication it will manage the pain for calming down and they will give you different ways on how you feel manage this pain let's go back to hiv HIV too, it own come na say it get the stigma behind it. 
But if you go to hospital, they tell you so you get HIV, you go seek for how to manage it, take medications, and live happily as well. Now, what is they wrong about this HIV now? The stigma behind it, you not know, be saying that any other thing. The most important thing now that information where people know the feet take her correctly. How different people they take her wrongly, how different people they judge, how different people the receiver is you no know, good at all. So if we first start learning on how to treat people with gay HIV, the world will be a better place for us, for other diseases, and for other illnesses. If we not get knowledge, now you make good die. But if we get knowledge about what they go on, we will live longer. Advantage day for tell person, and with this advantage, now say nobody go force you, make you tell person say you get HIV. You must be very confident. You must done ready. If you know the ready, then you talk them like that. It will hit your heart. So the advantage now say anybody we ready, it talk up. You they feel relief. You they feel peaceful. Anywhere you go, you they feel allow yourself to educate others because you don't decide. You don't agree with yourself. Nobody force you. This is my video now to educate people say. If you get HIV, you want to come, make you make sure say you don't ready. And when you don't ready, it will help your partner, family members, and others around you to feel safe if they were come out well. But you, when you don't ready, if they don't were come out well, you will see they okay. When would they talk? Would they look around people where you know they well, how they will feel? You know, people when I say people when know they well now, people when not ready, and the people around them they not take them nicely. How the people where get the HIV, how they go feel, it go cause a lot of mental distress, and as isolation go they involve. You know, um, a lot of different mental health will come join. So, but if we as a whole would they try to the learn how to take down the information then it will help a lot of people today you know they feel live freely go do their tests do what they want to get new partners and live happily if you disclose easily and you feel happy doing it, sharing your statute. It they create positive experience and trust. If somebody get HIV, it speak to you. That means that person don't ready to speak to anywhere. It means say whatever anybody say, it go day welcome for receive the information because it don't they ready. But if you know they're ready, you speak about them um, and the reaction with the people we speak to, they come back to you. You no go they happy at all. It will cause a lot of mental distress. So I do want to educate a lot of people and create awareness. If all of us they try to they see how if you manage people their information then it will help support one another. That's the disadvantages of disclosing or telling your status to people. Not everybody to the ones you choose to. Because you go now you go decide who you want to tell. Now you go decide who you want to speak to. So I beg, if you want to disclose, we will neither get ready, make sure they're confident, and then talk them. And nobody's supposed to force you to talk them. But if you're ready, 
you they do one because you want to create trust you want to get confident confident for the next partner you want to make your environment make you know they stigmatize and you want to live freely so for others way that you receive the information if we start to learn how to receive the information and the digester we will not go they make others they feel like the day outcast then it will help the world a better place with the people where they live there i hope this information will go a long way to help others to be able to disclose their hiv and to be careful to who they are doing it and to make sure that they're ready for disclose their information please if you don't understand me click the link below and get more information about which i don't talk today i just day now for you know create awareness about everything really happened around hiv is a very deep deep topic we will still continue with how to tell your children to disclose that one another level for our next video we will talk about disclosure for picking i, I won't believe say everyone where they watch this video go in jerram i beg if you in jerram make you share them make you help another person Make it go further and make we help remove the stigma. Thank you very much. Subscribe. Share.